guys, welcome back to my Valentine's Day series. I didn't post a video last week. I got really sick, so I just decided to skip it and jump to this one. And I was also waiting to get some new palettes in the mail with pink colors because I kind of started this series with like no pink colored eyeshadows. And in my head, I was just like, wow, like you really just jumped into it with no pink eyeshadows. But Okay, so in this series, I am using the Oolala La palette by ColourPop, and I actually have never had a ColourPop palette before, so I was very impressed with the pigmentation, and the palette that I'm using in the next video that I'm also making is also a ColourPop palette. They were having a sale, I believe, and they were super cheap, so why not? In this look, I also incorporated glitter on the lid because I haven't used glitters lately and that's actually one of my favorite things to do. I love glittery stuff and I think that I haven't, like I didn't want to use the same boring technique like half cut crease with a shimmery lid. So I kind of just did the glittery look just for the people that actually liked glitter. So if y'all like to see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep watching. So I'm actually gonna go in with the color Poodle with my ColourPop brush set in the style E21. And I'm just gonna put this on my... I'm just gonna go ahead and put it like on my crease. This time I am going all the way in to where my inner corner is. This is the first ColourPop um, palette that I own so I am actually super surprised at the pigmentation because I did have one of the little shadows that they had before like the super shock shadows and I did not like the pigmentation in that one but the pigmentation in the palette is super good I am really liking it so now I'm gonna go in with the color sandbar right here which is a little bit more of a hot pink, which I haven't used this color in this series, so I'm a little scared because obviously each color has a different payoff and a different pigmentation and different blending. So since I've never used ColourPop before, I'm a little, little scared. And the brush that I'm using is the E17 from ColourPop also. I'm just a little scared that it's like not all gonna blend in together but it looks like it's kind of blending in I just have to like put in a little bit more work but that's fine for the lid I am actually going in with a glitter not a shadow so for the glitter that I'm using I am using the Sephora glitter in the color in just the color pink and for my glitter glue I am using the hard candy Popping pigments glitter stay and I am just gonna put that on my lid which is like right here and I am also gonna shape it kind of ovally like I was shaping the shadow I didn't go too far up with the glitter glue because I didn't want the glitter to overpower the shadow since the shadow is actually very, very, very pigmented and pretty. So I'm going to start prepping my lashes for my falsies and for mascara I am using my Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara in the color black. And since the look already is a little bit too dramatic, I didn't want to add some dramatic or full lashes because I didn't want to take the attention out of the eye look with the lashes. So I am using my Ardell Demi Wispy. So after I put on my lashes, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my under eyes 
So for my under eyes, I am going to go ahead with the color Sandbar, which is the one we already used, which is this one, the little hot pink one. And I'm just trying to put it as close to my lower lash line as possible. I do want to make my eyes pop a little more, so for eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and use the Marc Jacobs Pink of Me, which is the whitish, pinkish kind of pearlish. So for my inner corner, I'm going to go ahead and use the pink sugar. I've been doing it with my other palettes also. I've been using a color from the palette as a highlight. And this one has this color named Tickled. And it has like a whitish pink iridescent type of finish so I want to use that color as my highlight so I'm going to go ahead and do that which is this one which is the first one it has like a glittery finish for lip gloss go ahead and use my wet and wild lip gloss in the color crushed grapes which I don't know why it would be called that because it's pink obviously it has pink speckles and I've been really into lip glosses lately thank you so much for watching I really hope y'all enjoyed this video